<sighs> Let's try this again. And I'm not looking at the camera. That's why I'm so self-conscious. So hey guys and welcome to the very first Women's Wednesdays videos. Most of these videos um, are going to be inspired by stuff that I've seen other female YouTubers do and just some stuff that I think girls will like in general. This week on Women's Wednesdays what I thought that we would do is just coming off of Christmas I thought I would go through a review of what I got for Christmas with you guys and you can tell me what you guys got for Christmas in the comments box below and we can talk about what you liked and what you didn't like and things like that hopefully you like it here we go the first thing that I'm going to talk about that I got for Christmas is um oh I'll pull it out here I think it's is it this one so I got this card for Christmas from my boyfriend's mom and it's so sweet. It says season's greetings. Merry Christmas Sidonia. Enjoy the beauty and wonder of the season. Love ya girl. XOXO. Take care of my baby. And it's in there. It's so cute. And in the card that I got from my boyfriend's mom, she also gave me a gift card to shoppers drug mart and i do like gift cards for places that are relevant like if you know that i'm going to shop there and like everybody shops here so it's great it's a really good gift card a gift card to shoppers drug mart is amazing because you can literally find everything you could ever want there anybody outside of canada watching this channel and you don't know what shoppers drug mart is um started from the bottom now we're here started from the bottom now my whole team fucking here it's great i I like this gift a lot. This next gift was also from my boyfriend's mom and it is from Avon. Now, I don't know if Avon is a Canadian thing or not. If it is, let me know in the comments below. Let me know, is Avon Canadian? If you're not Canadian, do you guys have Avon where you're from? Okay, so this is the Avon Naturals Winter Classics um, line, and it's their Frosted Winterberry Body Lotion. I have tried this, and I do like it. On the image, there's um, an orange peel and what looks like raspberries. You can see that there. So, that's very much what it smells like. It smells very orangey and, and berry like and it's so nice i use it as just like a hand lotion me particularly i have extremely sensitive skin so i'm very careful about the um products that i put on my skin something like this that has like a lot of perfumes and is not um like uh natural lotion I wouldn't use on my entire body I would just use on my hands because I haven't had any like outbreaks or things like that using lotions on my hands but I do like the way that this smells as a hand lotion and it is very hydrating so that's that one the next thing is also from my boyfriend's mom and it is the corresponding uh, shower gel so this is from the Avon Naturals Winter Classics line again. It is the same scent, Frosted Winterberry, and it is their Hydrating Shower Gel. Oh, this smells um, almost better than the lotion. I found with the lotion, the scent is a little bit more muted because of the cream for some reason. I usually like to look at the ingredients that are on the back. Anything that you're putting on your skin, always look at the ingredients. Um, and if there has too many like chemicals that I don't understand what they mean, I usually don't buy it. Avon um, has some things in there that are, uh, some of them are unnatural, like they have like coloring in the um, ingredients and they have uh, perfumes uh, and they have sodium chloride which last time I checked I think sodium chloride is bleach Co correct me if I'm wrong but that sounds a little bit weird so I don't like to use these honestly too much 
because my skin is extremely sensitive. Now, if you do not have sensitive skin and you really like the scent, I must say this smells amazing. The berry scent is so nice. The fruity scent is so nice. So if you really like things that are perfumed and you really like shower gels that are perfumed and you don't like to wear actual perfume, you'd prefer to have like a scented shower gel or something like that, I would recommend something like this. The next thing that I have, this is the Bath and Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar uh, Shower Gel with Shea and Vitamin E. Um, the Warm Vanilla Sugar is really soft on your skin and I like that one so far. This is the um, one that I've been going to. I tried both the Avon and the Warm Vanilla and this has been the one that I've been preferring. Um, I can't remember who got this for me for Christmas. I think it was my boyfriend's grandma, if I remember correctly. Then there's the corresponding Bath and Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar 24 Hour Moisture Body Cream with Ultra Shea. This um, cream is really rich. I like that a lot. Um, I like thick creams that are really moisturizing, that are really rich. If you look at this, You'll see how thick it is and I like that a lot in a cream and it's very like solid like I can hold my hand horizontally even upside down and it's thick and rich and it's not like dropping off at all um, this just it's oh look at that a question I have for you guys is do you guys use lotions and creams on a regular basis because I moved in with my boyfriend and he said that he doesn't use lotions or creams and I was like really and I thought that that was like so foreign but I've met some other people who also said that they do not lotion their skin every day they do not put cream on their skin every day and I thought that that was weird so let me know if it's like a cultural thing let me know if it's like what are your practices when it comes to lotions and creams okay guys so the next thing that I got for Christmas um, was actually a shared gift for me and my boyfriend and it was from my boyfriend's family they were so sweet um, they got us a cookware set I really was excited about that because it was a gift that we definitely um, needed and also wanted because sometimes you get things that you want for Christmas but you would like to get some things that you need sometimes so this was really nice of them to get this for us and I know that pots and pans are really expensive so it was a great gift thank you for that guys I really wish I knew the brand name so I could recommend it to you guys to go buy because I love it so far we've used it um basically every day since Christmas and they're great they're a really great brand so this is the um this is the big one that they got for us. So this is the biggest pot. It's nice. It's um I think it's steel. Um it's really shiny, really nice, lots of room in there. So that's the first one. So this is the medium sized one. This one has a long handle on it. I like that a lot because you can kind of like sear stuff and like it's really good. And then it's also really deep as well this one so I've cooked a lot of like pasta and rice in this one so this one is the saucepan one it's uh, smaller and deeper and it does have the same long arms so you can kind of like do sauces and things like that in here and uh, smaller meals like if you're just cooking like a little bit of mac and cheese to yourself you can do this one the last thing that I got from my boyfriend's family for Christmas is I know there's so many people that want this CD. I'll show you the inside of it. Yes, it is real in the flesh. A CD. It's a CD. Do you have those anymore? Do you find those anymore? No, it's like an antique that I got for Christmas. I love her so much. Look at her. Look at how flawless she is. So last but not least, I'm going to tell you, share you guys the gift that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. So for Christmas, he got me a three-part gift. I thought that he was getting me one thing, but he got me something else. He did get me vinyl records. And he got me some amazing ones. So the very first one that I opened was this one, and I was so excited because I do not have this album and I hadn't listened to the whole thing until now so voila 
Don't know you're gonna be away a while But I've got no plans at all to leave Isn't that spectacular? So, um, open up the second wrapper box thing and I find none other than I was dying. I literally, like, as soon as I opened it, I just started to ball. Hello from the other side. I must have gone a thousand times. If you can look at it there, it tells you all of the songs that are on it. It's so great. He was like, open this one first, open this one second, open this one third. And I was like, dude, it can't get any better than a Dell on vinyl. It just can't. It got better. I was like, oh my God. I was crying. Ah. God made me sexy. I don't care if only I know. So after I proceeded to have an aneurysm, but I'm so thankful for everything that everybody got me. Thank you for making this Christmas great for me and I hope that you guys enjoyed all of your gifts too. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas, um, what you liked the most, um, what made you the most happy. So I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you for spending time with me and looking at what I got for Christmas. If you liked this video and you want to see more things like this, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Um, share this video too if you did like it and subscribe to this channel and you can find a brand new Women's Wednesday video every single week here. Let me know of cool topics that you guys want to see on Women's Wednesdays, video suggestions, things that you want to see, makeup tutorials, you know, hauls, um, things that you think will be fun see you guys around yeah bottom, now we here started from the bottom now the whole team here nigga.